Hi, everybody. Thanks for logging out of the Facebook page. As we continue our listening tour in the 55th State Senate District, we are in the village of Pittsburgh along the Erie Canal, which, of course, was the main economic driver uh, here for so many years. And many of the old buildings are still standing here. As you take a look at them, they're all cafes and restaurants now and, and small businesses, of course. Pittsburgh used to be part of the larger town of Northfield, which stretched all the way to Ironicoid. And then they decided to carve it up. And Colonel Caleb Hopkins, a hero in the War of 1812, got to choose the name, and he chose Pittsford, which also happened to be the name of the town he was born in, Pittsford, Vermont. Lots of small businesses here in Pittsford, lots of firsts here in Pittsford as well. The first doctor, first lawyer, first public library, first public school in Monroe County, all right here in Pittsford. And the small businesses include one in particular, Rotolite Elliott a printing company. It is owned and operated by Sheila Butler Elliott and her husband Rick. Sheila, tell me about your business. Our business is almost 45 years old. It was started by my father-in-law, Raymond F. Elliott Sr. As the years have evolved, we have extended the business into wide format copy reproduction services, digital scanning, archiving, uh, wide format color, look, small format color black and white, we value our customers. We pride ourselves on the fact that we are customer service oriented, detail oriented, and that we want to give our customers the best possible service at the best possible price. If you could wave a magic wand over Albany or have Albany help you in some fashion, what would you do? I would um, ask Albany to take a look at the small businesses in New York State and see where there are ways that they can help the small business owner continue to be successful and continue to thrive. We're, as I mentioned, a small family-owned business, three generations. A lot of businesses don't survive that. I'd like to see some term limits set. I would also very much like to see a little more transparency from Albany, a little more honesty and a little more integrity in what's going on. And take the constituents' input and put some value on it. Listen to you. Listen to us. This is about listening to your ideas and your concerns first. This is about your hometown and making it a place where families can grow and prosper. This is about being your voice in Albany. I'm Rich Funky, candidate for state senate in the 55th district. Thanks for looking at our Facebook page. We'll see you again next week.